So I know it's been quite a while since I did a video, but truth be told, things have been extraordinarily busy around here. Um, I've been doing so many things. I've got so many projects going on, so many things planned to do just in the next future, you know. It's unreal. You know, I started GED classes. Um, I built a rain catch system. Um, getting a wood soap to put in. I got all kinds of stuff going on. And I've got a couple different kinds of new gear. And just to say hello, I'm still here. I'm going to try and put out more videos. I'm going to do a couple reviews on some of the new things that I've added to my gear. Um, one of those I got just two days ago actually from my uncle as a gift. This is the M48 Hawk, um, Tomahawk. Um, unlike the uh, Hawk Harpoon, I did a video this on This actually seems to have quite a bit of good usage to it. <clears throat> um, just like all the normal Tomahawks I've seen, comes with a normal ballistic nylon case. Got the M woman, all that fancy normal stuff on it. Nothing fancy. I don't know why I said fancy. It's got the belt loop on the back right here. Um, the handle looks like it's made out of the same stuff. Um, all the Sogs Tomahawks are. Um, like a fiberglass, glass reinforced type deal. So, let me take the sheath off. Slide that to the side. Here's our official tomahawk. Right off the bat, I love the shape and the design of the head and the blade. It's got these holes cut out right here, mainly just to uh, take some weight out of it. Um, the tomahawk itself. Um, it's a really nice tomahawk. It feels good in my hand. It's got a good amount of weight to it. Um, you know, it's not overly heavy, but it's heavy enough that it would make a great chopper or even a thrower. Unlike most tomahawks I have and that I've seen, the blade is curved. It's actually curved like a knife blade. Alright, y'all can see that right there. And you can see they have it ground up here, which will aid in penetration of this spike right here. Alright, the tang, yeah, I'm going to call it a tang, but the tang on this tomahawk comes all the way down to about here. Alright, so it's going to be really hard to see on camera. I'll get my flashlight out for you. Alright, y'all can see it now. That's the full tang of the tomahawk, and it's set with three screws, or uh, whatever these things are called. I forget what they're called. I think they're called star screws or something other. But it's a cool little tomahawk. Um, that's ground on the bottom right here, on the underside. So I guess you could use this almost like a knife point, if you could. Um, I'm looking at taking a file and filing this point down to a genuine point, but I may not, I don't know, thinking about it though, but you can use the top, the bottom, or this, like a pick or a point for doing whatever. I like that it's a curved blade so you can use it like a knife. Now the only difficulty that's going to come into using this like a knife when you get it out of the box is that the grind is very steep, which is to be expected on a tomahawk. But I'm not personally a fan of that. I always, always change the angle of my tomahawks when I first get them. And it's only a, maybe a 10 to 15 degree angle change. And I don't really notice too much difference in edge retention. But I notice a lot of difference in its ability to chop better. Because of that steep angle, angle you can't force that blade in as far. So when you make it um, more flat, more normal, like a knife blade, you can get it in there further, and you can make more uh, of a more decent chop per um, 
amount of energy that you use. It's a, actually a very nice tomahawk. Um, day after I got it, I went outside after I changed the angle and before I changed the angle and did a quick little chop test. Um, both times it chops quite well. It does very well. It's a very nice little tomahawk. Um, I'm going to be putting it in my um, new hiking bag because um, that's another one of the new things I got. Got ourselves a scale here. Turns on the sheath by itself. 3.1 ounces. The tomahawk by itself. About a pound and 8.1 ounces. Yep. So, the two of them together. A pound and 11.2.3 ounces. Now, I have two other tomahawks here, and the one that's the closest in similarity to the hawk tomahawk is going to be my SOG Voodoo. The SOG Voodoo, I believe, is heavier. Hang on. There we go. It is. The Sog Voodoo with its sheath is 2.2 pounds. 2.2 pounds. Correct, uh, correction. 2 pounds, 0.2 ounces. Okay. Anyway, the Sog Voodoo would be this one right here. It's actually a lot shorter than the Hawk. The Sog Voodoo is what I had been using for all my actual chopping tasks. It's actually a very, very nice tomahawk. This is it. It's got a flat ground blade, which is still very nice. It's been a very effective chopper. I far prefer it over my other tomahawk, which is just a SOG tactical tomahawk. This one feels a lot more balanced. It's got this knob right here. I'm not I honestly 100% sure what that's for, but comparing the two, they are quite similar in a lot of different ways, but as far as act the actual design, the way it's built, I prefer this one, but the SOG definitely has quite a few plus sides. But it's not a review on the SOG, it's a review on the M48. Now that would conclude this video. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will be uploading a couple more uh, following this one. Um, one's going to be on a backpack and the other's going to be on a flashlight. I may not do the flashlight though. <clears throat> I'll just save that for a day out in the field actually, yeah. So, don't y'all forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, Caveman Cody's extremely busy.